In Uganda, President Museveni is on his way to be declared re-elected officially as the opposition has withdrawn their petition in the Supreme Court and the EU will continue to follow the situation carefully. We are aware that there are major problems regarding opposition supporters who, according to increasing and credible reports, have been adopted and these are extremely problematic. Civil society and human rights defenders are also confronting challenges. There are nevertheless some positive signs, which we welcome and encourage. Last week, the EU ambassadors met President Museveni on his initiative to exchange views on the political situation. It was a long and frank meeting. Security forces intimidating and surrounding Bobby Wine's home for days after the elections finally left. When the security forces showed abusive behavior against some journalists last week, military authorities issued a prompt apology. The event was investigated and prison sentences were issued. Access to social media has mostly been restored. And President Museveni called for opposition to work together, although this remains to be seen in detail. Working with Ugandan authorities is a very important part of our work, acknowledged in the resolution adopted in the Parliament on 11th February. There is an active Article 8 political dialogue during which all subjects are discussed as constructively as possible. But the EU is also supporting civil society as an important part of EU-Uganda relations and we uphold the value of this work. We regret that the EU has been confronted with disinformation campaigns. The EU is non-confrontational and we uphold our neutrality and do not support any specific political party. It is also important to maintain multilateral action and that is why we call on the regional partners such as the AC and the African Union but also on the United Nations to maintain a proactive engagement in Uganda. World Bank and IMF are also crucial partners. It is important that international financial institutions also insist on transparency and accountability in their work with the country. Last and regarding Tanzania, I would and then Uganda. The Commission takes note of the announcement of the presidential election results by the Electoral Committee of Uganda following the elections held on 14 January. The Commission is committed to help address the challenges faced by the Ugandan people, promoting democratic institutions, gender and regional equality, protecting of basic human, social and economic rights, sustainable economic growth, green economy, as well as on good governance in terms of promoting financial, democratic and social accountability. The Commission is reconnaissant of the importance of maintaining a positive relationship with Uganda, a key actor in the region. Uganda promotes regional peace as a lead troop contributor supporting the peace mission in Somalia through AMISOM. The country has also shown solidarity with its neighbours as its leading refugee hosting nation in Africa. Currently, 1.4 million refugees are hosted in Uganda. Looking ahead, the Commission is exploring partnerships with Uganda that build upon its track record and will continue to review closely the conditions in the country to inform its approach. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair.